Alright, here's another video on 5YL Redesigns, part 58. We are finally, finally getting onto the Omniverse Aliens, and, um... <clears throat> not, not really a good start, I'm gonna be honest. I really do not like this redesign. At all. Because the whole point of Blocks was that he is a product placement, so completely changing him into a completely different alien just seems dumb to me. Like, I would understand if you, like, change where he generally looks, like a lot of the other aliens, but you just completely change his design. Like, completely. Like, there is nothing left of Blocks left other than, like, the general outline. And that's basically it. His powers might be the same, and the Omnitrix placement is just dumb. Like, I... 2, two out of 10, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, here's another 5YL Redesigns you know, video, uh, part 59. Today we got Gravitech, and yeah, he doesn't really change that much. Uh, they didn't, they hardly changed anything at all. Uh, he does have, like, more lines on his face and kind of like a lightning bolt, similar to, like, you know, uh, Harry Potter or something. It's also, like, the lines, like, around his mouth, and it connects to his, uh, you know, his eyes or whatever, which is, like, weird design thing but i don't i don't hate it uh i think the pants are relatively like the exact same i, I don't think there's anything different with this so uh, i don't know uh, it's pretty much the same so uh six out of ten i guess all right here's another video on 5yl redesigns part 60 today we're talking about crash hopper and he is great i love him he looks actually way better, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, they did change his... I, th I think they changed his eyes. His general... Uh, the way his head looks is, like, I'm pretty sure the same. With, like, just small, small details here and there. Um, I like his uh, chest area. They add, added more detail. Uh, the Omnitrix placement is a little weird, but I, I can get over that. Um, the, the detail that they've added all across them looks mwah, mwah, great. And they add, uh, added like different shades of, you know, uh, green throughout them to like, you know, show a difference. Uh, so yeah, generally this is a good one. I, I'm going to give this a, I'm going to say a nine out of 10. All right. Here's another video on five YL redesigns part 61. Today, we're talking about Ball Weevil in a mwah, perfect design, like redesign. Uh, he looks a lot more bug-like than the original. Uh, his eyes look... I, I, I really do like his eyes. His um his little mouth is generally the same. Throughout the entire like thing, he's relatively the same, except there's like more detail, obviously. I like the little, like... I don't, I don't know what... what, what is it a collar, I guess? I'm going to call it a collar. The, the collar around his neck where the Omnitrix is, that's a great touch. And, like, these little orbs. I, I, it's hard to point. Uh, these orbs that you see on his back abdomen. Uh, what was that? A thorax? I, I don't know bugs, you know, bodies. But that that's a nice touch. So, all in all, I would give this a 8 out of 10. Here's another video on 5YL Redesigns, part 62. Today, we are talking about Waka Trout, and man, he, he's way too big. Uh, I His redesign, just it's way better. It's it's just generally way better before. I like his little booties that he has. That's, that's really cute. And the Omnitrix on the fin is actually something I never thought about. Like, it being like right here kind of makes sense, but it being on the fin, I, I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. And just the entire suit that he has is nice. Except for, like, the little chin strap thing that he has. That's just weird. But, alright. Uh, his teeth seem pretty accurate. Uh, his eyes make him look dead inside. So that, that's funny. And the big fin, just it's just all pretty, pretty good. Uh, in terms of a redesign, I would say this is an 8 out of 10. Alright, here's another video on 5YL Redesigns, part 63. Today we are talking about Pesky Dusk, and this, I don't know how to feel about this design, but it's definitely not bad. Uh, the wings are pretty much exactly the same as, you know, before, and for some odd reason they just took away Pesky Dusk's mouth for, for some reason, and they gave them, like, these weird, uh, whatever, whatever though, like, that, that is. I don't like that. That just makes it look weird. 
uh, the outfit that they gave, uh, them is definitely, is definitely nice in, like, the markings and stuff. I I'm fine with this. Probably the most useful, uh, of the aliens that showed up in this episode, or in the, that episode, besides one. But I'll give this specifically, uh, an 8 out of 10. Alright, here's another video on the 5YL Redesigns Part 64. Today we're talking about mole stash and um personally personally act like the original uh, I the nose is definitely a nice touch but like the I I don't I don't like it it makes I it's way worse than the original uh even the suit I think is just way worse the omnitrix placement is fine though uh the little wrist things I guess are okay but just overall, I don't, I don't really, I don't really like it. He just the original design just kind of fit him a little bit more. If you could have expanded upon that, that would have been great. So personally, I would give this uh, a four out of ten. Personally, all right. Here's another video on Five YL Redesigns Part Sixty Five. Now here we got um the worst and uh even though his dis design is disgusting it's supposed to be disgusting because like that's the whole point of the works um so yeah they did pretty pretty well if i'm gonna be honest uh the little like w w what, do, what would you call like these like little bubbles or whatever like uh, tumors i they look like tumors uh, Good, uh, addition. The teeth look all weird and, like, just jagged and stuff. The little, like, I don't know what you call these clothes is a little weird, but it's it's fine. Uh, personally, I'd give him, like, a six, because, you know, his design's okay. Alright, here's another video on 5YL Redesigns, part 66. Today we're doing Kick and Hawk, and aw, oh, his, this design is actually nice. The clothing, I don't, personally, I don't like this clothing on, like, pretty much any of the aliens, but, like, it's fine. It's just a per personal preference. Uh, but his general design is pretty nice. I like the little, like, uh, oh, hair or tuft or whatever that he has on top of his head. Uh, his little, like, arm spike blades are pretty you know, pretty nice, his, uh, legs, despite, like, the blur, uh, looks pretty nice, uh, it's cool that he has, like, knee pads and stuff, and the Omnitrix, it kind of looks like, I think the, I, I think the original, or something along the lines of that, but I like, I like that, um, definitely, definitely a 8 out of 10. Alright, here's another video on 5YL Redesigns, part 67. Today, we're talking about feedback, and, um, I don't know, the, personally, the tendrils coming out of the shoulder blades is just a little weird. He just looks better when they're coming out of his head, and now he just looks like he has, like, horns or whatever, and it's just, nah. I do like these little, like, nodes that are all over him or whatever. I'm pretty sure that is kept over from the original design. Um, he does have a pupil now, which is, which is cool. Uh, and at the end of these, like, the tendrils, there's these little forks or whatever. That, that's a nice touch. Uh, the little, like, nodes here on his fingers and the end of the tentacles are a little less detailed, which is fine, but, you know, whatever. That's all design. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Alright, here's another video on 5YL Redesigns, part 68. Today we're doing uh, Topic, and um, his general design, around the same, if I'm going to be honest. And I actually do kind of like the little, like, helmet that they have going on. Don't know why he has just, like, one eye, uh, but it's not that big of a deal. It's perfectly fine. Uh, nothing much to say. The little shorts he has is kind of cute. The shoulder pads are nice. I generally like the clothing, and his body isn't that too far off from Omniverse. There's another, like, alternate version where you see his face, uh, when I edit them all together, you'll see it, whatever. Um, 
his origin or the face design is actually not that bad since um they're supposed to be related to eye guy species in five yl so overall i think they're fine i'll give him i guess a six out of ten all right here's another video on five yl redesigns part 69 today we're doing astrodactyl and i i do actually like this more than the original the white i think i think there's too much white here personally but that's perfectly fine i like the little like where his like energy whips or whatever come out of i like the way they look and just them in general right it reminds me of like i don't know why but like web shooters from spider-man i don't you know what i mean like i i don't know uh, the Omnitrix placement is weird. If it would have been centered, like, at the center of his chest, it'd probably look better. Uh, his face and beak look ugh, immaculate. All in all, I, I think his design is nice. Feet are a little weird, but, you know, it's Astrodactyl. What are you going to do? Um, generally, I'll give him, I guess, an 8 out of 10. Alright, here's another video on 5YL redesigns, part 70. Today we're doing Bullfrag, and if I'm going to be honest, I actually, surprisingly enough, like this, uh, you know, this design. I mean, I don't really have too much to say about him. The costume, uh, personally, w with a lot of the costumes, I don't like how much white is on the costumes. Like, especially with the way, you know, this, you know, the way they have it here. I would have put more, like... I would have switched the black out with the white, personally. Maybe not with the with these or something like that. Maybe I'd have a different color, but whatever. Uh, also, um, I, I got the this from someone else. He does look like a pickle, and I think that's actually pretty funny. Anyway, personally, I'll give him, like, a 7 out of 10. Here's another video on 5YL Redesigns, part 71. Today, we're talking about Atomics, and at first, I didn't really like this design, and I know it's cut off at the top, but yeah. Uh, but personally, I don't hate this design anymore. I think it's fine, although, like, still, like, the, the change in it is just so drastic that it's just, you know. I do like the added element of, like, this skeleton inside, like, you know inside him that's that's pretty cool the nodes here and there are like a nice touch and i love how like there's like this energy thing going in between like his elbows or whatever and he has this little like a uh, hinge or whatever it is i i like that and plus the like i don't know what you call these things i also love that it kind of looks like he has a gas mask because he's radioactive and people wear gas masks in radioactive areas it's nice um i'd give this an 8 out of 10 Here's another video on 5YL Redesigns, part 72. Today we're talking about Gut Rot, and if I'm going to be honest, way better than the original in my opinion. I love this way more, the like the shape of his head, I kind of like, and the way, the way it looks. The creators all over him are probably like the way he, uh, you know, spews about the, uh, the uh, gases. He even has a hole in his hand so he can just shoot it at you just straight up. That, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, there's like little vents on the little neck brace or whatever, which is real nice. Uh, the Omnitrix symbol is in a great place. Uh, yeah, the only one weird thing about this is the shoes. The shoes just look off to me in comparison to everything else. And it's just way too odd. But all in all, I think this is actually not that bad. And I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Alright, here's another video on 5YO Redesigns, part 73. Finally, we're on the last one, or technically, I might do a couple other ones after this guy, but anyway, it's Vampire, and I don't know why they veered so far away from the original design. He's supposed to be a vampire, not, and I'm taking this joke from someone else, literally Man Bat, like, that's, no. There's like that little green part or whatever, that gets above his little fur thing he has around his neck, what a... What even is that supposed to be? Is that on his chin? Is it his chin? I, I, I don't... It's weird. The Omnitrix placement is also just very odd. And it's just... The wings on the back just... Also just very odd. The whole thing is just... All odd. I guess this can get like a 5 out of 10.